Hello, Tahir here from AnywhereWealth.com and welcome to my second video on goal setting. Now, I know goals and accomplishing goals can be really difficult. You sit down, you write out your goal and then you hit your first couple of stumbling blocks or you hit your first challenge and then all of a sudden it derails everything. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about a crucial aspect of goal setting, which is overlooked, and that is the concept of self-image. I'm going to show you how self-image and self-concept plays a role in goal setting and also how you can strengthen your self-image and overcome those obstacles when it comes to accomplishing your goals. Self-image is very important also when it comes to goal setting and this falls into self-efficacy, the actual belief that you can achieve that goal. So what you need to do is look at yourself in an entirely different way and put a positive spin on it. There's some things that you'll be really exceptional at. There's some things that you're really good at. And that's what you need to focus on initially and how you can apply that to your objective and to your goal. There may be other things that you're not so good at, but those things can be improved. And if you go back to my earlier video about how to make money in a recession, I talk a bit more about this, about having that growth mindset, success mindset, and how successful people think about their present circumstances so once you start to focus on your positives and then realize there are certain things that you can improve then you will look at yourself in a completely different way because now there's a opportunity to change and evolve what happens to a lot of people is they think that they can't change that their mindset is fixed their present circumstances are fixed and their self-image is fixed that this is who they are and that's it it's a done deal it's not actually a done deal, is that you can change and shift your perceptions and they do change from day to day. It's just that we're not consciously aware of them. There'll be, you know, certain circumstances, for example, when you were your friends, you'll be feeling very confident. You'll be feeling really happy about yourself and you'll be, you know, in a free flowing conversation, you're subconsciously competent. It's just something that you excel at. You'll be at work. You'll be really good at that. You'll be just whizzing through things, you know, get you through projects because it's something that you've, that competence that you've built up over time. But when it comes to things like setting up a business, people feel less confident because they might not have particular skills, but those skills can be learned. So it's important to identify where your strengths are, how you can apply that to setting up a business. Maybe you're really good at time management. Maybe you're really self-disciplined. Maybe you're really self-organized. Maybe you're really good at connecting with people. You can use that and maybe you really have a, you know, a, analytical mind you can focus on problems and solve them easily those skills are very very important when it comes to setting up your own business then what you want to do is identify the things that you're not so good at write them down as well as your goal uh, underneath your goal and think this is the skills that i need to pick up i may have to go and pick up a new book from the bookstore from the library i might now have to do some research on the internet i might have to go and speak to somebody somebody who you know, is it excels in this area, a coach or a mentor. I also might need to sort of start a new course and learn about this particular area. So it could be website design, it could be how to grow an email list, it's about how to engage with your customers on social media. All these things can be learned. So that's how you improve your self-image, is that it will improve organically. Once you realize that it's not fixed, and once you pick up these skills, your confidence will grow. You'll become more and more confident when it comes to setting up your own online business or any other area of life, something else that you want to achieve. These things are achievable. These things are not fixed. You just might need the right information. So that's when it you know, comes to self-efficacy and self-development and self-image. These things are very important when it comes to setting up your business. But these are things that can be improved. There's things that you can learn. And it's really important to put a positive self image on your past self, your present self and your future self, not to dwell upon those failures, but to put a positive spin on them. Look at your present circumstances and change your state and think, OK, this is not going right. But what do I need to do to make it right? And also put a positive spin on your future self. This is how you improve your self image. So just to quickly recap about self image and goal setting, always check in on your self image particularly on what you say to yourself. If you've overcome a challenge, if you've made a mistake, uh, leave it where it is, it exists in the past, use it as a learning opportunity. If you reframe it as a le learning opportunity, it will strengthen your self-image because those problems and challenges don't become something that put you off. Those 
challenges and mistakes no longer say anything about you. They just say something about the opportunities that lay ahead of you because every challenge mistake is an opportunity in itself. And if you just see them as learning opportunities or positive opportunities to learn, grow and to progress, then there's nothing that's going to hold you back. And it also helps you strengthen your self image. If you have any questions or ideas that you'd like me to add to my other videos, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try my best to add them. Thank you for listening. Take care.